what do realtors do? So let's see, we dress nice, we drive nice cars, we talk on the phone, we see beautiful homes, we get decorative ideas, and you see our business cards all over the place. Well, stop, that is not our value. What does a realtor cost? Well, I can tell you, it's a lot if you're working with someone who doesn't have knowledge and wisdom to get you to the closing table. I'm about to give you eight tips to look for when choosing a realtor to make sure they exceed your expectations and it starts right now. Hi, I'm Maria Wells, broker owner of Lifestyle Realty Group here on the Treasure Coast of Florida. So what can a realtor cost you? A lot if they don't have the knowledge and wisdom to get you to the finish line. So I have eight tips in selecting a realtor to help you make sure you find one that is going to exceed your expectations. So number one is for the buyer. One of the things that we do for a buyer in the beginning when you're looking for properties online is tweak your search. So we can do a lot more things on MLS, send you listings to identify properties that may be your next home. For a seller, number two, is that we value and price your home accordingly. It's not just what's on Zestimates or anything like that. There's usually five ways that we look at pricing a home to make sure it's correct, it sells quickly, even though things are selling quickly in a seller's market, there's still things that can happen if it's not priced correctly. Number three is, our job in the transaction, meaning buying and selling, is to make it as stress-free as possible. So we need to make sure that we always have a list of vendors and different things and to guide you throughout the process to be able to help you get to that end goal. And number four, there are many trigger dates on a contract that are critical. If you miss them, it could cost you losing your escrow deposit, not getting your inspections done, which means not asking whether you're a buyer or seller for a credit or something to get the home fixed, which is major, and to make sure that if there are repairs to be made, then an addendum is sent to the other party, making sure everyone agrees. So when it comes time to do a walkthrough, that the repairs that were agreed upon are actually done. And without that document, it does not happen. So number five, um, our main responsibility is to protect the escrow, whether you are a buyer or seller. So the buyer has put the money in escrow. We want to make sure by meeting those timelines that I just told you about that are critical, that we've met them and that if there needs to be an opportunity to back out of the contract, you can still get your escrow. And for a seller to make sure that the buyer has paid their escrow in there so you know that you have that money waiting for you for the purchase of that home. It's that guarantee, but it is up to the realtor to make sure that that has happened. Number six is whether you are a buyer or seller, I recommend that you pay for title. Yes, I said whether you're a buyer or a seller. Whoever pays for title has more control over the closing. And I highly recommend that you use a title company that has an attorney. Many, many times there will be questions or something that can happen during the process that an attorney comes in really handy for them to help you during a situation that is a make or break it. It is worth it. And any attorney I know that does closings, it's the same price whether you use them or a title company that doesn't have one. Um, number seven, I really feel strongly that we need to be a problem solver. So what does that mean? We're proactive. No realtor should be calling, whether it's a buyer or seller, saying we have a problem of what do you want to do. No. When you're called, we should pretty much have worked out exactly what needs to happen, give you some options to select and take care of it for you. Our job is to make this as stress-free as possible 
because you have everything else to do. Both of you are packing. Both of you are either, you know, selling your other home or looking for another home. You know, we get paid to make sure that these are taken care of. Number eight, at the end, and you'll have your walkthrough to make sure everything is fine, all the paperwork, the closing documents, that you should actually feel that your realtor got you to the end of the transaction and exceeded your expectations that you knew that you could not do it without them. I'm gonna tell you, I really want to hear your comments of what you've had as an experience, whether buying or selling, and if your realtor exceeded your expectations or they didn't exceed your expectations. In fact, last night, I actually was out at a restaurant and I walked by a table and this is what I heard. I cannot believe my realtor did that, which provoked me to doing this YouTube video. So I really hope you leave your comments and I just know that if you look at all these eight pointers, you will actually have someone who exceeds your expectations and you will be so happy you did. Happy house hunting.